Yeah, and so I think it's based on the need. So oftentimes, you know, we develop models of care, we develop interventions, and we say, you know, it has to be, you know, a nurse, it has to be a social worker, it has to be, you know, this profession, a community health worker. But a lot of what we've experienced um, is, you know, really being attuned to what are the needs of the folks that we're serving? What are the problems? What are the issues? What are things that are top of mind for them? And so for some models, you know, behavioral health, right, is an important piece. And so obviously um, in those type of, you know, communities, you will want to have some type of behavioral health uh, support um, that could help navigate um, that system. And so really it's just being attuned to what are the needs of the individuals, the, the subpopulation that we're serving, and how do we put individuals, professionals, um, or lay professionals in the right position so as to meet those needs. Yeah, and so all of our models of care include community health workers. Um, and community health workers, they're a very important piece um, to the team. They bring a, a certain energy, a certain spirit, a, a certain culture. Um, you know, most of our community health workers, they have an immense understanding of what are the, what's the makeup of the community and what are the needs of the community. And just being in tune to, you know, feelings around certain, you know, healthcare related topics and certain non-healthcare um, related topics. And so all of those, you know, issues, they play a tremendous factor in people's ability and uh, to be able to manage their health. And so community health workers, they provide that level of nuance uh, when it comes to our care models. Um, and they're a, a group that we rely on heavily in order to be able to connect the dots um, for us. Um, what we've also found to be valuable is that they serve as translators in many respects. And so oftentimes in healthcare, you know, you have, you know, providers, professionals, and they're just, you know, educating, you know, telling people information, trying to give them the best treatment. And sometimes, you know, people might sit there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, 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 without really an accurate understanding of, you know, what's being said, nor what am I to do. And so community health workers really playing in that middle space as the bridge, helping to translate. You know, this is what the provider is saying, but also, you know, provider, this is what the patient needs as well. This is what I'm seeing as I'm working with this patient in the community, in their home. This is their social support system or lack thereof. And so again, having that data, that information to be able to translate back and forth so that ultimately um, this person can meet their needs.